All right, y'all. This video is gonna be um, out of Michigan. It's gonna be about prosecutors signed and charged Officer Christopher Sher with second degree murder and the fatal shooting of Patrick Loya. Now, Sher pulled him over for an unregistered license plate. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, y'all can watch the body cam footage for yourself. But uh, I just go in a little bit of detail about it. Um, like I said, he was pulled over. Um, he immediately got out of the car. Suspect told, or the police officer told him to get back in the car. Multiple times he refused. He asked him for his license. Um, also asked him if he spoke English because he wasn't complying. He said yes. Um, now, this is the part where everybody seems to have different opinions, right? So he shuts the door and starts walking away. Some people saying he was going to get his license. Other people saying he was trying to resist arrest, right? So at that point, the officer grabs him, uh, tries to detain him, fight issues. Uh, they struggle for a good while. The officer actually pulls out his taser. Um, and the body cam footage is unclear to see if he actually got tased or not. Um, he loses control of the taser. Um, another struggle ensues. Uh, the officer ends up on top of him and ends up shooting him in the head. One time killing him. Now, whether he should have been shot or not, I don't know. Um, me personally, do I think he should be charged with murder? No. Um, should he be on the force? Yes, he should. Um, that's just my personal opinion. You know, the officer had opportunities where he could have shot and didn't. Um, you know, but at that point, you know, Patrick Lawyer was not armed. He was not, he was still officer resisting arrest, but he was not armed and the officer was on top. Now that being said, they bar, uh, want to ban chokeholds. In that particular instance, a chokehold would have been great. All right. Especially since the officer was outweighed, uh, outsized drastically by Pastor Lawyer, all right? But again, shooting him in the position that he had him, no. Now, when he took the taser, could he have shot him and be justified? Yes. Here, is it justified? You know, I don't think it's justified, but charging him with secondary murder, no. I don't think so. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll stay safe, Fowler.